Every time you look around you're using something you may not even know about, the oculomotor nerve. This remarkable part of our nervous system plays a crucial role in controlling the movements of our eyes. Whether you're engrossed in an exciting novel, navigating through rush hour traffic, or aiming for that perfect three-pointer, the oculomotor nerve is hard at work. It helps us focus, tracks moving objects, and even adjusts the size of our pupils. Without the oculomotor nerve, our world would literally be a blur. The oculomotor nerve is a marvel of nature's engineering. Now, let's take a closer look at this fascinating structure. Imagine the oculomotor nerve as a superhighway for messages from your brain to your eyes. It's a complex network, split into two main branches, the superior and the inferior branches. The superior branch is like the express lane, delivering instructions directly to specific muscles in your eye. The inferior branch on the other hand, is a bit like the local roads, reaching out to a wider range of muscles and even the pupil of the eye. Now let's zoom in a bit further. Each branch of this nerve superhighway is made up of countless nerve fibers, like the individual strands of a cable. These nerve fibers originate from clusters of nerve cells, or nuclei, located in the brainstem. These nuclei are the control centers, sending signals down the oculomotor nerve to control various aspects of eye movement. The oculomotor nerve is not just about movement though. It's also involved in adjusting the size of the pupil and the shape of the lens two critical functions for focusing on objects at different distances. Now you might be wondering how does this nerve handle all these tasks? Well the answer lies in its intricate design. The nerve fibers within the oculomotor nerve are organized in a very specific way, allowing different fibers to carry out different tasks. For example, some fibers control the movement of your eyeball, while others adjust the size of your pupil. In essence, the oculomotor nerve is a master of multitasking. It's constantly busy receiving signals from the brain and sending instructions to the eye. It's like a well-oiled machine, working tirelessly to ensure that we can see the world around us clearly. So there you have it. A quick dive into the structure of the oculomotor nerve, from its branches to its nerve fibers and nuclei. It's an impressive piece of biological engineering, wouldn't you agree? Just like a well-built bridge, the oculomotor nerve is a crucial link between our brain and our eyes. The oculomotor nerve isn't a one-trick pony. Let's delve into the many hats this fascinating nerve wears. One of its primary roles is controlling most of the movements of your eyes. It's the puppet master of four out of the six muscles that direct your gaze, including the superior, inferior and medial rectus muscles, and the inferior oblique muscle. So every time you roll your eyes, look down at your phone or gaze up at the stars, you have the oculomotor nerve to thank. But its talents don't stop there. This nerve also governs the size of your pupils. It plays a crucial part in the pupillary light reflex which is your pupil's automatic response to changes in light. Walk into a bright room, your pupils constrict. Enter a dimly lit space, they dilate. It's like the aperture of a camera, adjusting constantly to regulate the amount of light reaching the retina. And guess who's pulling the strings? That's right, the oculomotor nerve. Furthermore, it helps control the accommodation reflex the ability of your eye to adjust its focus from distant to near objects and vice versa. So when you're reading a book and then look up to see who's entered the room, it's the oculomotor nerve helping your eyes make that swift transition. So the next time you catch a ball or admire a sunset, remember the oculomotor nerve is working behind the scenes. In the medical world, the oculomotor nerve holds significant importance. This vital component of the human nervous system is responsible for several key functions related to our eyes and vision. It is the third cranial nerve, and its principal role is to control most of the muscles that move the eye. This includes the pupil's constriction and dilation, which is a critical aspect of our visual system. But let's delve deeper into its clinical significance. The oculomotor nerve is often examined during a neurological assessment. A dysfunction can indicate a variety of conditions, such as an aneurysm, tumor, or even diabetes. A common symptom of an impaired oculomotor nerve is double vision, medically known as diplopia. Another symptom is a drooping eyelid or ptosis. One of the key diseases affecting the oculomotor nerve is oculomotor nerve palsy. This condition is characterized by weakness or paralysis of the muscles innervated by the oculomotor nerve. The causes can range from vascular diseases like diabetes, to more severe conditions such as brain aneurysms or tumors. It is therefore essential that any suspected dysfunction of the oculomotor nerve is thoroughly investigated to identify the underlying cause. In a clinical setting the examination of the oculomotor nerve involves several steps. 
It typically begins with an assessment of eye alignment and movement. The patient is asked to follow the doctor's finger or a light, and any abnormal movement or alignment can indicate a problem. The doctor will also check the patient's pupillary response to light, a process known as the pupillary light reflex. This reflex is an automatic response that controls the diameter of the pupil, adjusting it to varying light conditions. A sluggish or absent pupillary reflex could suggest an issue with the oculomotor nerve. Understanding the oculomotor nerve doesn't just help doctors and medical students, it helps us all appreciate the intricate workings of our own bodies. We've taken a journey through the human body right to the oculomotor nerve. This nerve, the third cranial nerve, is a fascinating structure with two main branches, the superior and inferior. It originates from the nuclei in the brainstem before branching out to innervate the muscles that control the majority of our eye movements. The oculomotor nerve has a range of functions. It's the puppet master behind the scenes, controlling the contraction and relaxation of four out of six of the eye muscles. It also plays a crucial role in our pupillary reflex, allowing our pupils to constrict and dilate in response to light. From a clinical perspective, the oculomotor nerve is of vital importance. Diseases affecting this nerve can lead to serious conditions like double vision or drooping eyelids, highlighting the need for careful examination and understanding of this nerve in medical practice. The next time your eyes dart across this screen, remember the unsung hero, your oculomotor nerve.